welcome guys to a whole new video and in this video i'm going to show you guys how to set up large language models locally on your machine so you guys may be familiar with some of the public models that are out there so for example you have chat gpt and for those of you guys who are offensive security professionals then you, may, you might have come across some of the red team and blue team cyber security AI models that are in the public domain. The disadvantage about some of these uh, GPTs that are running in the public domain is that they are in most cases communicating with some of the public LLMs over the internet. So there is a huge restriction on privacy and uh, most of these large, large language models are normally censored which can be a disadvantage if you are a security professional who wants to conduct a public penetration testing on a system without exposure of your data. So in this case, I'm going to show you guys another alternative way where you can set up some of your large language models uh, locally. And ideally, what we are going to focus on, we're going to focus on some of the large language models that are specifically trained to perform cybersecurity operations. So first things first, the first tool that you're going to install, this is the platform where you're going to run most of these large language models locally, is a tool called LM Studio. So you can search on LM Studio. LM Studio gives you three alternative ways to install the software package in your system. You can download the Windows version. If you're using Mac, then you can also download the Mac and the Linux version respectively. So since I'm running on Windows, you can download the Windows installation file and run the executable. The installation steps are very simple and straightforward, so you can just follow through and install some of the required packages that are needed by LM Studio. So I currently have LM Studio running in my machine. Just to show you the interface, once you download and install LM Studio in your machine, you should get an interface similar to this one. So right now, you have LM Studio installed in your machine. And what we're going to do now is we're going to try and look for the large language models that are in the public domain. And we're going to install one of the large language models so that it can run locally in our machine. So one advantage of having large language models running locally in your machine is that there's a huge uh, advantage in terms of privacy because most of the data that is within the context of the memory in uh, the AI chart is only stored in your local machine and there's less risk for exposure of your data in the public domain. The other thing is these large language models are in most cases not censored so we are going to look at a specific model that is running on Mistral and most models that are built on Mistral are normally uncensored and since you're running them locally in your machine then we have a huge advantage in terms of privacy and running data that is uh, uncensored on your machine. So this can be a huge advantage to sec security professionals who are running offensive black hat attacks when trying to target systems. So since we have LM Studio downloaded in our machine, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to run and uh, look for our local models in the public domain. So the repository that we're going to use is called Hugging Face. And Hugging Face is a public repository where most of these large language models which are open source are located. So if you guys want to download some of these large language models and train them using your own datasets, then you can do them from a Hugging Face. So in Hugging Face, there's a search interface over here where you can search for the specific model that you're looking for. Then uh, once you have the model, then you can paste the name over here and you can download and set up your model locally. So ideally, what you're going to search for is a model that is related, related to cyber security. So if you type cyber security, then
then it will give you a list of all the models, the data sets and the spaces. So what you're looking for is the models that are specifically related to cyber security. So if you want to check some of the models that are out there, then these are some of the models. You can scroll through them. So for example, you have the first model over here. So this one is also tailor-made for cyber security, but in our case, the model that you're looking for is a Seagull Lily Labs, which I've, I have used for some time, and it's very good for performing most of the offensive and defensive operations in cyber security. So LM Studio uh, typically takes uh, GGUF files from a hugging face. So these are specific models that have the GGUF extension so that you can download them and set them up on LM Studio. So ideally what you want to do is you want to go to hugging face. And since you're using the Segway Lily Labs, We will look for the specific model that has the GGUF extension. So this is the model that we're looking for. And if you want to download the model and set it up locally, what you do is you copy the name and you paste it on LM Studio. Then it will give you the available files that are related to this model. And as you can see, guys, I already have the model downloaded in my machine. And in most cases, these models normally require resources in your machine in terms of operation. So typically they check uh, RAM memory and uh, there is a size that is occupied by this model. So as you can see, this model occupies a storage size of around 5.13 GB. And if you want to check some of the specifications in terms of requirements for the model, then uh, you can check the details from uh, the official repository and you can see some of the system requirements that are needed in order to run this model. So make sure that you have a system that has enough resources in order to run some of these models. And as you can see, guys, my system is able to run these specific models. So once you have this model downloaded and you want to run the model locally, uh, what I'll do guys is I'll try and turn off internet So right now guys our internet connection is turned off and we have our model loaded up and uh, it's set up locally on LM studio So what we'll do is we'll hit the chat option. So in the left navigation menu, you can see some icons over here We have the home icon where you can search some of your models and download them we have the search section where you can load up and uh, look for some of the models that you've extracted from Hugging Face. Remember guys, Hugging Face is the public repository for all open source large language models. Then we have the common chat interface similar to what you see in ChatGPT. And uh, if you're familiar with ChatGPT, you know that ChatGPT uses OpenAI language models in order to run the interface on chat but in our case since we have a large language model downloaded locally on our machine we can proceed to load our model so we have a couple of models over here but ideally what you're looking for is the Sego Lily Labs model so that we can try it out and test it and see some of the output results and give it some time to load the model then once the model is loaded you should see the name of the model on top and you can interact with it. So we can give it one search query, like I want to run uh, recon and vulnerability scan on our website. So right now we have given it a query to look for the specific commands that you can run a recon search on a target system 
using the tool called nmap so we'll see the results that we'll get And as you can see guys, we have two commands that are given by this specific model. And if you want to play with it, you can play with some of the prompts on uh, the chat box. And you can try and uh, prompt it to give you some examples of other attacks that you can initiate against other target systems. So that's all for this video guys. I've showed you guys how you can set up some of these large language models locally showed you the repository which is hugging face i'll attach the links to the repository hugging face and lm studio in the link of my youtube video description if you have any questions you can drop it in the comment section make sure to like this video subscribe and see you on the next one